<laughs> Uh-oh, this is bad. I know. No, I mean, we should just put bad. this bag away. Oh. Guys, we're uh, about to start here. Uh, before I start, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's left reviews, who's reached out to me over DMs, who's basically... Uh, help support the show in any possible way. I really appreciate it. Uh, I want to give uh, a big shout out to um, all the people who just left reviews on the Apple podcast. If you do leave a review, I will read it on the next one of these. So please do that. Please reach out. Uh, welcome everybody to the Stir. Welcome, everybody. Guys, today we have hilarious comedians, actors, wonderful writers, creators, just brilliant people all around, podcasters. Guys, put your hands together. We got Desiree Nash. Now I want my money back. And we got Oscar Montoya. (laughs) Smart-ish. So, guys, today we're going to take the audience to intro the audience to our uh, podcast. We're going to take them from their, uh, let's say their jobs or wherever they are, and we're gonna put them on the plane to fun town. And you guys are the pilots, so go ahead. All right, everybody, just sit back and relax. Make sure your seatbelts are still on. Y'all strapped in? Get on, (laughs) strap on in. Just having fun with y'all. Sounds sounds like a fun pilot. Make sure you have your Magazines open to the page that you're going to want to read after I'm done with my hour announcements. Mm-hmm. If you don't want, if you don't want to read, you can just put on those uh, glasses with the little googly eyeballs sticking out of it. <laughs> I've been fun. Yeah, you know, Raj, Roger, you should probably take those glasses off. Eber, now. Eber, I'm going to drive the way I want to drive this plane, baby. Well, we're flying, but. Well, you know, we could drive if we want to. It's a New York to Chicago plane. We could drive all the way to Chicago, baby. We are going to New York and Chicago. And don't worry, I am the lead pilot on this one. Roger is just... We're going to two stops. The co-pilot. Yes, I'm the co-pilot, but also the fun pilot. You've heard of good cop, bad cop. This is a good pilot, fun pilot situation. And we're we're working on it. Roger, you spilt your screwdriver on me again. (laughs) Oops. Yep, I spilled a bunch of screwdrivers on my co-pilot, Ebert. Female female flight attendant, Nancy, could you come up here with a rag? Uh, uh, Hello. Hi. Uh, here's a rag. Female flight attendant. Thank uh, you. Thanks. I can't take my hands I, off of the steering wheel. Can I say, you guys wheel. don't have to keep calling me female flight attendant. Female flight attendant. You can just call me by my name. Well, we know that there's the female flight attendant, Nancy, and then there's the male, the flight, male attendant, flight attendant, Nancy. I think both, also both Nancy. of us would. Right. I, I think we could figure out a better system. Okay. Okay. Would you, well, would you be Blonde Nancy, sure, and brunette, Two. sure. That either okay. either of those, I think, sounds okay. That doesn't because I don't see you as a blonde though. No, your hair is blonde, but I don't. You don't fit that sort of like blonde aesthetic. I paid right. such good money for this haircut. No, I'm not. I'm I not put, trashing your haircut. I put up with a lot as a flight attendant, and I don't. Female flight attendant. <laughs> You're so cruel. All right, I'm done with the rag. You can go, Nancy. <laughs> Let's do a Mad Lib. Whoa. Okay. So I'm going to ask you for an adverb, Oscar. Adverb. Um, luckily. <laughs> um, uh, and then adjective, Desiree. Uh, lucky. <laughs> All right. Oscar, can I get a noun? Um, clover. Okay. <laughs> Uh, All right. Desiree, a verb? Uh, clothing. <laughs> clothing. You're so stupid. Is that a thing? <laughs> it is in my mad, mad <laughs> world. Uh, and uh, Oscar, a noun. Leprechaun. Leprechaun. Oh, I'm the dumb one. Okay. I'm not dumb. I'm smart-ish. <laughs> okay, here we go. We'll play oh. some uh, dramatic music. Are we supposed to remember that? Don't yes. No, you don't have to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, oh. you do. What okay. was yours? luck no that not i mean your catchphrase wow i, I remember yours was smartish yeah 
All right, here's the story. Oh. Ooh. Desiree and Oscar luckily browsed the menu, each craving something lucky, but they couldn't agree on what clover to eat. Finally, they cloving and shared a delightful leprechaun. Ew! Ew! Ew. <laughs> See, the thing is, that story entirely made sense until we got to your leprechaun yeah. suggestion. What the hell? What did you want me to say, meat? Uh, on my podcast, we have people, we have the guests read the ads. I hope you don't mind here. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we're going to have you read the ads right yeah. here. Who are you sponsored by? Oh. Copy. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's for a uh, home security camera system. Oh, okay. So go ahead, just read it. Mom, mom, I'm scared. Shh, I'm trying to sleep. But you didn't hear it? The rustling outside? Don't worry, our security system will catch the whatever's outside. We have a s s s security system? No, they don't. <laughs> Three days later, they died. <laughs> oh my God. This could happen to you. Wow. Do you need security systems? Mm -hmm. We got them for you. Yeah, call, call, lock them up and throw away the key security system. That's a long number. <laughs> lock her up. <laughs> lock her up? <laughs> I don't know if I like this company. <laughs> Lock her up and throw away the key security systems. Gets rid of all those <laughs> terrible nuisances outside of the protection of your own home. What does it do? It traps you in a big cage, just like a... Like a like mousetrap? Yeah, like a mousetrap, but a giant one that will catch an, a human adult. That's right, yes. You're protected inside a giant mousetrap. You, in a sense, are the cheese. And Hillary Clinton is a mouse. Oh, God. <laughs> Feel trapped? <laughs> you shouldn't. Do you guys have a like a political stance? It sounds like you do. Do we have a political stance? You might be thinking to yourself. No, we don't. Oh. Anyway, just, just visit, visit the, the website. website. <laughs> Qanon.com. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. All right. Lock her up security systems. Call now. I mean, it's got to end at some point. Call her up. It's got to end her at some point. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do something now ca I call Face Reality. Oh. Uh, we all watch reality shows, different types of reality shows. We do. And one of the best things you can do if you're a re reality contestant mm -hmm. or on one of those reality documentary shows is make a big scene. <laughs> um, so it's called Face Reality. In this one, uh, you're each going to take a turn being a housewife who found out, who finds out she's the only one not invited to an upcoming party. Oh no. So, so who, 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 you're what? having a party without me. I am having a party without you because every time you come to one of my parties, which are about me, you make them about you. I never make anything about myself. And you know that about me. If there's one thing you must know about me, Kimmy K is that I don't ever make it about myself, Kimberly Kardashian, okay? <laughs> and the one thing that you need to know about me, Kim K, aka Kimberly Kardashian, is that it's never about me, okay. Kimmy K. It's about Kimmy G, Kimberly Gargantian, okay? And that's the one thing that you need to know I about you. You are a snake. Accepted. You're a snake in the grass. <laughs> I have snake never accepted that nickname. <laughs> My last name is Gargoyle. <laughs> What? All right, Des, your turn. <clears throat> you know what? You think this is about you, but let me tell you something. You are not invited to this party. I know that this party is happening literally right now, and it's going on without you. But I'm in my Great Gatsby outfit. <laughs> well, it seems like you're going to be missing it. Oh, my God. I got this outfit imported from F. Scott Fitzgerald's personal collection. <laughs> Wow. It cost a lot of money and my marriage. Whoa. And you're saying I'm not invited? Is my cigarette holder too long for you? That is a long cigarette holder. It's very cartoonishly long. A big moment, that's ah! Ah! <laughs> Oh my God. She's, she's trying to burn me. She's trying to burn you with the cigarette. Did you see that, producers? <laughs> We're not here. <laughs> oh, now you don't want to interact? <laughs> Rip your wig off. What the hell? Come oh here. Oh my god. Come here. Oh my ah. god. 
Oh my producers, God. producers, oh my do God. something. Um, this is called uh, "Fake It Till You Make It." <laughs> <laughs> Um, fake it till you make it. You both have applied for the team shiatsu massage thing. You're both desperate for work. Um, now that they're striking. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you guys are desperate. Yeah, we're desperate. And you guys we'll are. We'll do anything. You'll we'll do anything. So you guys have applied together to be si- uh, shiatsu. It's to be together on What is shiatsu? It's like massaging. But I know, but that, what, what's the difference between that you and have Swedish? To know, you have to know what it is we've applied. Well, that's the thing. So you've applied and you lied about it completely. Exactly. You've made it through the rounds of interview. Yeah. We like both of you. We think you make good teams, oh my God, shiatsu okay. people. But this is the last part. Uh, my name is uh, Bob, by the way. I'm oh, just, yeah. I'm just, it's like a verbal quiz, pretty Thanks quick. Thanks for reading our email. Oh, Bob. okay, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just gonna quiz. go through just to verify like, of course, uh, of course. your that info, obviously, that doing. you know what you're talking about. Yeah, we've done yeah, this before, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna ask you some basic yeah. questions. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so which energy meridians or pathways are focused on during a shiatsu massage? Yeah. Des, you want to take uh, that one? I definitely do because okay. it's actually my favorite part of mm, the yeah. massage mm-hmm. and yeah. cer- cerebral uh, passages mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. in the frontal lobes. Okay. I mean, maybe you took the different school that I'm used to because we, c- we call them sen lines. Mm. Oh, no, I've heard them called that too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you know, like when you're rubbing your temples like yeah. this, yeah, you yeah. know, with your fingers on the side, of like course. that's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And I learned that in shi- well, shiatsu school. <laughs> let's let's just shiatsu. move on. Um, shiatsu. What is that you're doing, by the way? Hmm? You both have done. We're right? just like sucking ourselves up for like the massage. Yeah, okay. we're getting our like, energies. Um, okay, great. Coagulated. Love that. Yeah. Uh, so sh- shiatsu massage is based on the principles of which traditional uh, Chinese medicine yeah. concept. Des will take this one. Yeah. Oh, was the question done? Uh, yeah. Which oh. which, uh, which uh, uh, traditional Chinese medicine? Um, oh, oh uh, Concept um, does shiatsu. Yeah, of course. Traditional um, the just Zen Garden. Mm-hmm. Zen Why garden. Zen Garden? Just the Zen of it all. <laughs> mm-hmm. The zen of it all. Yeah, sorry, we're laughing. It's just, she actually gives us so much joy. We can't help but giggle. It gives us the giggle. Yeah. So, so uh, Oscar, I do, I do want you to answer this next one. I'll try. Um, in shiatsu, the concept of hara, hara. yeah, oh. uh, refers to which part of the body? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Remember what we discussed before? The yeah, the part of the body, mm-hmm. hara. Yeah. 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 So, what part? What part of the body? Is- it's clearly um, when you talk about hara specifically. Yeah. Um, typically, it depends on. I mean, it always depends on what region you're from. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, in in Philadelphia, it's quite different. But um, where I went to school in uh, New Mexico, the hara refers to the sort of like inner thigh. The thigh. Yeah. Um, I feel like that would be really confusing because most people, at least according to us, refer to it as the abdomen. Abdomen. But yeah. in Philadelphia, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, the the inner, th- yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, uh, the inner yeah. thigh is uh, it's just like it's a sort of um, in the in it's the shiatsu Philly. business, it's it's mm-hmm. it refers to your abdomen because that's really what we're focusing on. Okay, because you know the inner thigh is a sort of ticklish sensitive area, and that's where the abdomen is. So you know when I say inner thigh, for a lot of shiatsu people, mm-hmm. we know that we we're talking about the abdomen. And that's yeah. and this is a you guys are from Philly. Is that where you trained or? Um, yes. Yes, in West Philadelphia. Yeah, born and raised. Born and raised. Yeah. On the playground. What'd you guys? Yeah. What'd you guys do most of your days? We were at the playground. playground. We were. We were at the playground. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We should have been studying. Yeah. <laughs> we were uh, chilling out, maxing, <laughs> relaxing. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Um, hope you didn't shooting get in some trouble. b-ball outside of school. Yeah. yeah. We played horse. Yeah. I feel like you get in a lot of trouble. But you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were up to we no. Did. But there were some guys. They were up to no good. Yeah. Oh really? They started they making trouble mm-hmm. in our neighborhood. Yeah. Oh my god! But, what'd you do? Yeah. Well. Well, we got into. A, one little fight. Okay. Yeah. So that's why we ended up in Bel Air interviewing for this job. Yeah, there yeah. Because our mom got scared. And she so, says, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Oh, you live with your aunt and uncle? You guys are related? Yeah. Yeah. We're oh. brother and, and sister. sister. Wow. Yeah. Jetsu. Jetsu. Um, all right. So these should be some pretty cut and dry ones. Uh, Shiatsu massage oh, originated in uh, which country? We'll say it at the count of three. Okay. One. Mm-hmm. Two, three, Japan. 
Very nice. And then uh, finally, of course, everybody knows what does shiatsu mean <laughs> in English? Massage. Okay, so here I have it as it's finger pressure. Finger pressure. Same thing. Yeah, no. that's what massage is. Oh, isn't okay. It? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I, no, no, you're so. Yes. No, I, that, yeah. I was under the impression that that's what massage well, look, I, is. I, I gotta be pressure. honest. I gotta be honest. I feel like. Um, I, I feel like we. Uh, yeah. I was a little thrown off, but now that I understand, I guess things are a little different in Philly. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It sounds like you guys would be a good fit. So let's. Oh, uh, oh, fantastic. We have a patient right now. Oh, already? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, oh, my here. God. When are we going to eat our hoagies? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you mind me? Um, we need to eat our hoagies real quick. It'll take us literally a second. I didn't realize this interview was going to be so long. It'll take you a I'm, second to eat the I'm entire hoagie. Literally from a second. Philadelphia. We're from Philadelphia. Yeah. Come on, of course. I mean, uh, I guess. Okay, let's wrap okay, it. One, two, three. Oh my God. <laughs> ah, done. <laughs> that is the craziest thing. Oh my God. Is that your stomach making that noise? If you just go through there, they'll, you'll be given, uh, given uh, that okay. patient a massage. Oh, He's on the table. Oh, sorry. Right. Uh, is this like a push door, a pull door, <laughs> side door? I, we can't get in. Uh, yeah, it's just a pull door. Oh, you got to twist the handle. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry. All right. They don't make doors like this in Philly. Hi. Uh, hey, how are you? Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm good. good. All right. So I'll start at the feet. Um, uh, sure. I mean, you guys are in charge. Oh uh, yeah. No, we're talking to each other. Oh, okay. We, we, yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, yeah. yeah just hang out just yeah, like yeah, for yeah, a yeah. second. Give us yeah, just yeah. like a minute. Yeah. Um, can I start at the feet? Yeah. Can I start can at you? the hands? Yeah, of course. Okay, great. Okay. He's tall. He's very tall. This is going to take five hours. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Five hours? He's five two. That, he's... <laughs> yeah, I've never been called tall before. You guys are pretty short, though. Yeah, we're we short. are. We're yeah. very short. How tall are you guys? guys? Four seven. Four seven. That's not that much shorter than me. Well, well when you're trying to play to basketball at 47, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it does become a challenge. Yes, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Point. Okay. So um, is this hard enough? Uh, yeah, it's actually really hard. I. Oh, good. Okay. Is this soft enough? It's it's fine. I don't really need my hands. So did they tell you to take your underwear off? Um, uh, yeah, they told me to put a towel on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Just one second. Just yeah, one, we just it, wanted Just to, one second. Yeah. Just one second. Sorry. Can if I you could just hum to yourself. Just hum, hum? A, a song. Can I talk to you outside the door that we have to push now to yeah. get out? Oh, right. Oh, don't forget about the knob. You know. Keep humming. I'll keep humming. You know how uncomfortable penises make me. No, I know. Yeah, yeah. What I can't. But he has a towel, so it's fine. But you I can't can, really see it. I can see the bulge. You can see the bulge. I mean, yeah, he I has a huge see. bulge. Yeah. Yeah. He's 5'2 and has a, the biggest bulge I've ever seen in anyone. I mean, okay, so what's the plan here? Um, okay, how about you go the back and I go the front? So then you don't have to do the, the back, bulge. like his bottle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't have to think about uh, hum, please. You're not. We cut to the trial. All right, everybody, order. Ouch. All right, you two. So uh, the uh, defendant, I mean, the uh, uh, client here says you fingered his butthole during his massage. Where are you from, sir? Uh, well, I'm from. It's a very specific accent. You <laughs> is, have. It, is it? Yeah. I don't feel. I'm. I'm from old timey Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. Now we know what we're doing. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Wink, wink. wink. What is wink, that wink. supposed to be? What? Order, order. Everybody calm down. Ouch. All right. So uh, how plead ye? Not guilty. Yeah. Durr. Durr. <laughs> okay. Ow, order. ow. Oh, uh, Your Honor, stop, stop hitting me. I don't mean to. Stop putting your hands on my, on my desk. Uh, so the evidence shown here is uh, his butthole. <laughs> I, I don't know. I can't tell from that photo. It looks like a regular butthole to me. Here, I took a lot of photos on my iPhone if you want to check out check out the ones I took. Wait, yeah. Okay. Also check out my iPad. I also took Oh, nice. This is a brand new. Ow! Ow! Oh, sorry. Your Stop. Honor! Well, you just put Ow. your hands on my desk. Well. It's just so comfortable. Is this oak? Is this a new iPad? Yeah. Oh, very sweet. I know. Sweet. So, yeah, I mean, clearly you did this. You took photos of your own molestation Ow. of this person's butthole. <laughs> I wouldn't call it molestation. We were Not being paid to give a finger massage. That's no, what shiatsu that's, means. No, yes, that's finger literally. Finger pressure. Look, Webster describes shiatsu as <laughs> the finger, finger massage. Pressure. pressure. And it was created in Japan. Japan. Mm -hmm. And, and we're good. And we're good. We are so, highly sought after. You know, if you're asking for a full shiatsu 
We're going to give you a full oh, shot. We're going to get in that butthole. Yeah. Well, uh, this is highly unorthodox, but uh, Ow. I think I'll see both of you in my chambers. Oh, oh. okay. Are we going to have time to eat a hoagie first? <laughs> yeah, can you give us one <laughs> second? One, one second, second for a whole just hoagie? One, just one, one second. second. You're from second. Philadelphia. Ow, hey, ow, ow. All right, sir. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How do you... That can't be good for your Done. esophagus. Oh, we got to give the uh, old sports report. So you guys go ahead oh. and oh. tell us what's going on in sports. Give me one second here. I want to play some. Uh... All right, sports report with Oscar and Desiree. Hi, everyone. My name is Miles Teller. No relation. <laughs> My name is Tom Cruise. No relation. And together we are the Teller sports and Cruise. people. <laughs> Hey guys, just the uh, Excuse me. yeah. What we're live? Yeah, I know. What do you want? We're live. Here. We're live. Let's let's just work on that for the future. It's been it's been it's been five years of that. Okay. okay. I thought people just liked that say. about us. Well, seems yeah, like we could agree on, on the same page. just agree on one thing. But okay. seems like we could have got that note five years ago. I know. <laughs> I know. Good one. I know. Good one. All right. Sorry, Tom. Okay. Here anyway, the game last night. <laughs> Whoa, what a game! It was so exciting at the stadium with the bats and the balls. That's mm-hmm. right. It was like a click. Clank, poo, and pow of the bat. And then there was a lot of running. Running, running indeed. And the hot dogs. Hot dogs. Can we get some hot dogs? We certainly did. We, we had, had 15. 15 each. each. Perk of the job. They give them to you for free. That's true. Thanks, Dodgers. Uh, this yes. is live. What I'm do you sorry. want from I'm us? sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been really distracted today. You guys <laughs> ate 15 hot dogs each? Yeah, each. that's why we were vomiting. How many hot dogs do you eat? <sighs> I mean, I eat uh, 15. Exactly. Okay, there we go. You got me there. You got exactly. me. Okay, anyways, we were saying. So the star of the game the, was. The star of the game was clearly Miles. Miles. David. <laughs> Miles <laughs> Davis. Davis. The Rays. The Rays won and the Dolphins mm. stunk. Look. <laughs> They were like, be you. you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Moving on to lacrosse. And boy, oh, boy. Oh, those ladies. The ladies. The ladies know how to lacrosse. That's why they both oh, start with yeah. the letter L. They got those, the disc in the net. The disc? The lacrosse disc. Don't question me. I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah, hello. This is live. Um, also, uh, shout out to the star rookie player, mm-hmm. Alexandria Cortez. <laughs> Who? Ocasio Cortez. No, no relation. What? No, it was her. Oh, no, really? Her. Yes. Wow. It was actually her. Yes, yes. Very she moonlight. For her first game, she really did nothing at all. Um, and honestly, we respect her for it. Yeah. Yes. I hear you. Next up, let's talk about bowling. Oh, those pins. Pins. Ten of them, in fact. Mm -hmm. A lot of spares. A lot of turkeys. A lot of gutter balls. A lot of strikes. A lot lot of strikes. A lot of strikes. Seems like you guys know the most about bowling. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm talking to myself. This is live. This is live. And the nachos. The nachos. We had the nachos. See, one of the perks we get for watching a bowling game is unlimited nachos. And boy, did we have 15 15 nachos. (laughs) Yep, yep, yep. Why is you that guys weird? Have Fifteen, yeah. Pl- separate Se- separate plates of nachos? servings of nachos. Yeah. Not fifteen chips. I mean, you guys no. are smaller than me. How are you eating all this food? Vomit. <laughs> oh no! All right. So uh, one of the things I do to try and elevate my podcast oh, above okay. others is besides what we've already done. Oh no, no, no! What you're doing is great, but I also, I mean, elevate like in a sophisticated way, like. Um, uh, you know, I want to I want to balance that line between comedy and education, and, yes. and so I've been having us read paragraphs from classic novels. Right now, we're reading oh, okay. "The Grapes of Wrath" by John Steinbeck. Of course, it follows the Jode family, led by Pa Jode and Ma Jode, and the eldest son Tom Jode, uh, who is the lead narrator of in course. this book. We've read um, it. So we're we've, familiar with of it. Of course you are. So we're on page seven, uh, oh, okay. 703. 703. Uh, that first cha- uh, paragraph okay. there. You're going to read the paragraph, then you'll pass it over. Mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. Oh, like uh, popcorn. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Let me put a little uh, great uh, dramatic music to you. All right, go ahead. This is dramatic. <laughs> yeah, that's not dramatic. <clears throat> I can't stop it. That's fine. It was day 20. Pa sitting up at the front of that wagon with the reins, just making the horses move forward and forward and forward as we inched closer and closer to that distant California. Our rations were running low, 
Ma was getting cranky. And Sister Jode, well, she just got her period again. <laughs> oh, they just came right out and said it. Yeah. I feel like every as- <laughs> other aspect of this is so flowery. And that just cut to the chase. It's a grimy, gritty world out there. We ran out of supplies, of course, for the period situation. Oh, God. Are they going to go... Seems like he's really obsessed yeah. with this period, huh? She had to use hay from a bale. She used hay for her period? Jesus Christ. Which, and if you are paying attention, you'll recall that we use the hay for our pillows and our seats uh-huh. and to feed our horses and our cows. And now all of a sudden, Sister Jode coming in here wanting our hay <laughs> <laughs> for her danged period. That sounds awful. This is why we read. To learn. I'm still reading. Oh, so, no, I know. Yeah. And the horse went, nay! Nay! He wrote the horse went nay? <laughs> yeah, he I'm did. I'm sorry, I'm just No, John I'm Steinbeck like, was real into it. Yeah. yeah. And I went, Pa Joe, could you slow down for a second? <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling sick because of all this period blood. <laughs> <laughs> So he stopped. Again. <laughs> but he asked him to. <laughs> he complained about it. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he was mad that I asked him to stop again, but he did. What? <laughs> and I went for a long walk out into the distance. I needed to get away from the family. Mm-hmm. It's like you oh, spend relatable. months in a wagon with these people. You just got to take a break. Mm. So I, I went for a long walk. And as the horizon got closer, they got... Smaller behind me. That's how distance works. And I thought about not turning back. Wow. And going it solo. Wow. And that's what I did. Wait, what? Wait, what? I did. I left them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I didn't remember that part of the book. <laughs> me neither. Weird. So what happened next? Yeah. Oh. Okay, oh, here's the paper. Oh. Oh. Or the, still... or the book. <laughs> or the paper. The whole book is a paper long. <clears throat> I took one step. In front of the other. (laughs) The hot August sun frying my backside. You see. I feel like the tone of the the speech has shifted. You see, we were traveling west, (laughs) but I, I was going back east. And as I was walking back, back to the things that I knew and away from the things I didn't like periods what's up with that oh no it's going off on the periods again what's the deal with that <laughs> why are women that's like a 1980s stand-up <laughs> Seinfeld. What? what is the deal <laughs> with periods it's like men don't have them uh-huh. but women do it's kind of like when you leave the toilet seat up and the woman's like wait a second you can't do that and the women always seem to put the toilet seat down because they have their periods i don't quite understand as i was mulling over menstrual blood i could hear paul screaming hey son where are you going and i could hear the horse winning and neighing away and i could hear my sister go more hay more hay <laughs> And I knew I made the right decision. How is she using the hay? To go back and help her. Because it turned out she was bleeding a lot. Because that's not how periods work. She was dying. (laughs) She was having an organ failure the size of Oklahoma. But guess what? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Was that a rhetorical question? Or or did she want us to guess? Guess what? (laughs) Dot, dot, dot. John, John. John Steinbeck put in an ellipsis <laughs> dot dot wow. dot. Okay, all right. Question mark. I guess. Interesting. Okay, so um, what do you guess? <laughs> oh yeah, is that does it say we have to guess something? I don't. The rest of the book is. <laughs> I don't have the rest of the book actually. Oh, I don't know. Well, <laughs> that's, wait, well, that's how he ends the great. Book. Guess, that's the end of the book. <laughs> no, I don't think it's the end of the book. I just the the, uh, the rest of the pages are lost. Oh. Do you wow. have them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, uh, chicken butt. 
The end. So it's just one big joke? It's a big joke, yeah. Wow. They never wow. made it to California. We don't know. We don't know if he did um, it. I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. Chicken butt. Chicken butt. Uh, you guys are great. And I'm so happy you agreed to do this. I do think, though, hmm. the riders you sent me were a little ridiculous. So no, I don't think so, but well, okay. Go ahead and uh, read Desiree's rider and just okay. see her requirements and tell me if that's not okay. so a little ridiculous. Desiree Fonsible. Fonsible? Hmm. That's, that's your middle name? Desiree Fonsible Nash's rider. I think she made up a middle name. I think she did. It's my profession. Refer to me as my middle name only. Hmm. Fonsible. Okay, Fonsible. Okay. Okay, it's, reason it's reasonable. Oh, yeah. It's how I keep my professional life separate from my non-professional life. I see. Blue ostrich feathers in the dressing room. Which I couldn't get. They said there's a legal. I illegal? Yeah. The, the ostrich feathers or the fact that they're no, it's blue? Like, I guess it's like a blue ostrich. It's a very rare bird. So I guess I won't be writing in my diary tonight. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. For the quills. What? I use them for quills. You use ostrich feathers. Usually they're peacock Gosh, feathers for that's quills. That's what I'm saying. This is, and yours wasn't much better, Oscar. What so the hell? No, worry. mine was pretty good compared. Okay, wait a second. Uh, make sure that I have six interns waiting for me in the room. And they take literally four steps ahead of me. So it feels like I have an entourage. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I really can't. I'm not legally allowed to hire interns if I'm not paying them. So it would have cost me a bunch of money with health insurance. Oh. Yeah. I just couldn't pull it off for one episode of the podcast. Hmm. I mean, I'm they would have worked for f credit. Interesting. Yeah, they, they made that illegal in California. Yeah, it's not allowed. I didn't get the memo. Um, anyway, two Roombas so I can stand on top of them. <laughs> yeah, I, I had those and she stood on them and now they're broken. So I got to return them. I don't know. Rude. <laughs> I don't know what did you think. I'm usually to able to glide. I'm usually able to glide around as though I'm a Can ghost. Can you predict though where, how the Roombas go because they're just? It feels like of, yeah, I well, throw crumbs on the ground <laughs> and I make a trail so that it goes in the direction of. You think that's how Roombas work? It's opposite Hansel and Gretel, or it is <laughs> Hansel and Gretel. It, <laughs> yes, they find that. I mean, have you never used a Roomba, you poor people? <laughs> no, I, uh, that is the slogan of the company. <laughs> it's, it's the opposite. It's opposite Hansel, Hansel and Gretel. Well, yeah. Then if it's opposite, they would be leaving crumbs everywhere. Yeah. But oh, I, no, that's true. No, uh, they, no, Hansel and Gretel left crumbs. They would to be, be taken. followed. Okay, yeah. I see. I see. Okay. Um, okay. Uh -huh, okay, see, I see here. Okay, only $100. Uh, one, one, only $100. <laughs> But that's what does not that my mean? pay. That, that's why I can do coke. I mean, I gave her a hundred dollars, okay. but no coke. So okay. yeah, you and know. and payday bars. Yeah, which are hard to find. They're not very popular. What are anymore. payday bars? It's all caramel and peanuts. Yeah, it's like a like they candy were like bar for semi popular in 1985. Yeah, they were my they're my candy bar of choice because yeah. I don't like chocolate. And that's yeah. a real fact. But payday is made out of chocolate. It's a chocolate. No, it's bar. all peanuts, no, it's and, all like peanuts caramel. and caramel. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, interesting. Elephants hey, love you've them. You've won me over. All right, let's read Oscar's Desiree. <laughs> Here you go. Okay. Now, this is pretty reasonable, I think. Oscar Cecil Montoya. Okay. Again, didn't, um, didn't need anybody's middle name, but well, it's a nice middle name. It is actually a nice middle name, but I know you named it after the hotel. I did. Cecil Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. You love the hotel that much? You named your... Mm -hmm. At least a lamb. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. and, okay, and that brings us to the first mm -hmm. point. He requires that a Lisa Lamb documentary be playing on the wall on I just repeat. remembered who Lisa Lamb is. Yeah. So it's very upsetting. <laughs> He needs Not it. to me, it calms me down. He needs That's it on repeat on the wall in his dressing yes, room. I hope you brought a projector because if you didn't. I, di I don't own one. And I can't watch that over and over. It's very upsetting. I'm not asking you to watch it over and over. Well, I want you to play on it on the wall. All right. Um, a 3D printer to only print tiny shoes. Mm-hmm. And th those are extremely expensive. They're like They're $700. Very expensive. What do you yeah, do with the shoes? And they need to be, yeah, need the, need the, the 3D printer needs to be demolished right after. Which doesn't make any sense. I could at least return it. No, 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 no. It has to be destroyed. Okay. What do you do with the little shoes? I put them on my shoes. What do you mean? You've seen my Crocs. 
Oh, okay. What like are on the top widgets? of my Crocs? Or not the widget. What's it called? The charms? Oh. No, those are 3D. No, those are fivots. Oh, fivots. Okay. Those are different. I want a 3D printed shoe I can glue on top of my shoes. Gibbets. <laughs> Gibbets. <laughs> Yeah, I mean legally yes, but okay. we can't say it for legal reasons on of this course. podcast, so we're yeah. saying it fibbits. Okay. You don't want to get sued. You don't want to get sued. No, no, I really appreciate okay. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, oil lamps, Stri- oil lamps, strictly oil lamps. I swear to God, if there's real electricity, I, I, I will burn the building. And mm-hmm. I, honestly, like I really tried to. It's against every code in the building. Oh my gosh. I'm not. Well, technically, I'm still Amish, so... Okay. How are they, How was he supposed to play the projection of Lisa Lamb without electricity? Figure it out. You want an oil powered, you want an oil-powered projection system? And an oil-powered wow. 3D printer, absolutely. Okay. okay. Um, one... It says human-sized Roomba mm-hmm. that I can lay on. Yeah, so it's kind of hypocritical for him to come after you yeah and i, I don't even two. i understand but they don't make a human sized one i looked everywhere is it like the size of a twin bed that you lie on and you that's not human sized oh what's human sized i thought look it was, at me. i would say a twin bed that's not true look at you <laughs> yeah like i i don't know it look at me we're looking a at surfboard you. look at just i know i just want you to look at me oh okay oh. <laughs> Oh right, that's also on the right. Oh yeah, we're that's supposed right. to always we're supposed to always look at him. Um, oh, Desiree, we're getting a phone call. Oh. oh, hold on a second here. Oh, I forgot this person was going to be calling in. Oh, my so, God. Uh, Des, you will never believe this, but we are playing. This is your life. <laughs> so we have a mysterious person from your past calling oh in, and they're going to answer whatever questions you have to help you figure out who they are from your past. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for calling in. We got Desiree here. Desiree. Hi. Huh? Remember me? Let's see. Uh, I'm from the south, so I have a lot of southern southern people in my life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but not. But very little people from Corpus Christi. Uh oh. I'm quite literally from Corpus Christi, so everyone. Oh, you gotta know one life. person from Corpus Christi. Um, I don't know. Are you my old principal? That's right. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was so fast. <laughs> I knew you didn't forget about me, Plum. So, what's what's wow. your name? Principal what? Huh? What's your name? Well, Des, Des will tell you. Barnett. Yeah. Principal hmm? Barnett. Prince- Barnett. I had my name changed. Oh, nice. Oh. Okay. Wait, you had it changed from Barnett? Yeah. Oh, oh what is it? What is it now? Is it because of marriage or divorce? Is divorce. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you say Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Mr. Barnett. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, uh, my name is not Barnett anymore, though. It's Clump. It's prof- it's Principal Clump? No, Professor. Oh, Professor Plum. Professor, Plum? Professor Pref- Plum? Like in the Clump. Clue? Wait. Plump. Oh, plump. plump. Oh. Did you marry a plump? Oh, you married the plumps. One of the plumps. You married I one of the did. plumps? I married one of the plumps. Now, oh. you got to remind me because I can't tell which plump is who. So, uh, yeah, the uh, richest people in Corpus Christi, that's the plumps. Right, that's right. So I'm, I'm swimming in money every day like Scrooge McDuck at the beginning of DuckTales. Did you, so well, did how you, was, can I ask, how was Desiree as a kid? As a Oh, as my student? God, how wasn't she as a kid? Yeah. I mean, let me tell you something. She went to school at Corpus Christi Elementary, mm-hmm. and I got to say, she was such a bright young child. I yeah. knew she was destined for big, big things in her life. Oh, I mean, so she, nice. could, she could t- literally mm-hmm. recite the I Feel Like Chicken Tonight commercial by mm-hmm. heart. That doesn't sound very impressive. But not, yeah, not, I mean, I mean no, no, it's better, okay. So. Everyone in Texas knew that song, that chicken <laughs> like song. But the, 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 I mean, I'll tell, I'll tell you, we had a talent show, uh-huh. and she was able to do a one-man show uh-huh. based on Les Mis. <laughs> For she the talent? Played every how much? single character in yeah, the damn much, show. How much time did she take up? She was the only one um, that oh. signed up for the talent show. Okay. So we gave her a wide berth. You know, she she had four hours to sort of kill four time. Hours. And she was able to um, do a one man show of Les Mis, and then um, she performed some um, behind the scene footage of what she assumed Wait, was she, the she Broadway per- production. Time out. She performed what? behind the scene it was, footage. It was a little bit like the play noises off. So okay. I would do, you know, the front of See, my. She per- knows so much. 
stretch. My, the front of the performance was the Les Mis, and then I would swing the the stage around, Got and it. so the audience could see what was going on behind stage. Like, for four the, hours. It was exhausting, and I was in elementary school too. She was. She was only a first grader, and then she also did. She was her own stage manager. She was her own lighting technician. She did everything by herself, and you know, we always knew we had a handful. <laughs> With uh, Desiree Nash, um, she was she was a handful. I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. I actually um, changed my last name. Mm-hmm. I'm Barnett now. Whoa, Des- Wait, well, Desiree how, Barnett. How'd that what happen? do you mean? I fell in love with well, your ex husband. Oh no, Tom. Is that why you're? Call- oh, that must be why you're calling. Did you I, know that Desiree married uh, your ex husband? I was ex-husband? asked by Rob to. to to say some yeah, flattering that's stuff about like you, but I had a total coincidence. I had no idea that you married Tom. Oh, oh, Tom didn't tell you. He figured no, you were happy know. with the plumps and. No, I don't talk to Tom anymore. He broke oh. my heart. Oh, what oh, happened? Sorry. He broke my achy breaky heart. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sorry. What, what, what happened to the relationship? Well, things were going well. He said that he was seeing somebody else. That he fell in love with another person. Oh, Desiree. I think that's and probably she was, me. She was a New Yorker. At the time, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, and, and she's he, he, he came to see my one woman lay Miz on uh, Broadway. Yeah, and that'll do it. I every took time. it all the way to Broadway, and he uh, came. And how old is he? He's ninety. Ninety-five. <laughs> he doesn't talk to me much. How either. old are you, uh, Professor Plum? What? How old are you? I think that's quite rude to be asking somebody I'm their sorry. age. But if you must know, <laughs> I'm twenty. No, what? You- I'm 20 years young. What? She's, like, she's lying. She she's has lying. to be. It doesn't make any sense. What do you mean I'm lying? Don't tell me. Don't tell a Corpus Christian that they're lying. Principal Barnett was known for being a liar. What I mean, now, Miss Plump, but. Per- <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Principal, Principal Barnett was known as being a liar. I'm, uh, I'm sorry to call you out. What do you, I never know. I have. Vacation in Aruba many times. Oh, okay? is that the big lie she always told? Him? Yeah. What's 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 your favorite? If you really did tell us the truth, where where what's your favorite part of Aruba? God honest truth. Yeah. Never been. <laughs> you see what I mean? You see You're what I'm dealing with? Liar. You see what I'm dealing with here? I heard that Beach Boy song Bermuda, Bahama. <laughs> And I heard, and I was like, oh, I'd love to go there. Mm-hmm. So I told all the kids that I went to school with, oh, I've, I've been to Bermuda, Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. Jamaica, Montego. <laughs> Baby, why don't we go? And I felt like chicken tonight. <laughs> what is that? What? That was my talent, remember? That was the thing you brought up. <laughs> What? Why are you calling me? <laughs> Why are you I calling mean, me? I gotta be honest, this was supposed to last a lot longer. You guessed right away. Zero. I mean, I really appreciate you calling in. Why did Professor you marry Tom. him? Why did you marry Tom? Oh no. I have I have to go his heart monitor is You gotta tell me why you married Tom. Why you? Dick. Oh. He, he does have an incredibly small penis. It is a one. <laughs> oh, is he that's what you And I love it. I love a small dick. <laughs> um all right let's uh let's Did you hang up on me bye <laughs> um let's do bye this or bye. <laughs> oh you still on professor Paul? oh yeah though no, i didn't know oh, that sorry. i was gonna, okay i gotta go actually i gotta go okay i gotta run and um, oscar's coming back from the bathroom so <laughs> Who's that? Uh, it's not nothing to do with you okay, but thanks I for gotta calling go, in um yeah what's yeah, going my, on I'm, i have a beautiful um person, don't tell us you're plump, going on plump person uh-huh um that you're I not going on vacation to. I gotta go. We got first first nope. class tickets. You you singing the song to figure out which place? <laughs> Kokomo. I gotta go to Kokomo. Where's Kokomo? Where is it? It's right next to. You don't know where Kokomo is. I, You're I, stupid. I, it's I'm right. Stupid. It's around the corner from, from a principal. <laughs> yeah, I ain't your principal. You stupid as hell. <laughs> It's around the corner. Is it, did you say Coco? I gotta go back. <laughs> Robert. All right, so we're gonna do a quiz. Ooh. Ooh. Um, this is a special quiz called One Right, Two Wrong. So it's a difficult right, quiz to do because wrong. you have to stay on top of this part. So the first question you have to answer right. The second question you have to answer wrong. The third question you have to answer wrong. Mm. Then the fourth question you gotta answer right. Got it. Oh. One right, two wrong. Okay. Fun. And on and on. Okay. Um, and uh, 
the uh, the rule in the game is that you can't even come close. Now, it's completely subjective. It's up to me to decide whether you came too close to the right answer. For example, if I was like, uh, what is the ocean filled with? And you said milk, I'd be like, that's wrong because milk's a liquid. You got way too close to the right answer. Oh, so I see. I, I, it changes and shifts, but we'll see how this one goes. Uh -oh. This is a uh, quiz about mustaches because <gasps> you had one in the minx. Oh my God, yeah, I did. And so this is about famous people who have mustaches. I know One more. right, two wrong. Okay, Let's I know a lot about mustaches too. Go. Me too. Milk. <laughs> They're made of milk. <laughs> All right, and you're both, whoever answers first gets the point. Oh, it's a contest? Oh, yeah, you're competing oh against gosh. each other. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Yeah. Easy. Kimmy K. All right, right, ready? One right, two wrong. Mustaches. True. Which famous artist known for his... Salvador Dali. That is correct. Let's go. Wow. Who is the legendary British physicist and mathematician responsible Albert for... Albert Einstein. That He's is German. incorrect. I thought it was supposed to be wrong. It's too close. It's too close. Oh, I don't think I'm going to do it. I'm very confused. <laughs> Oscar, do you want to try answering that one? Yeah. Um, sil silicone. That's correct. <laughs> what? The silent film star was famous for his comedic performances and toothbrush Chardonnay. mustache. That's correct. This Indian leader who advocated for nonviolent civil disobedience against British rule is often seen with Gandhi. a mustache. That's correct. Des, yeah. I'm confused about how to play. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> one right, two wrong. <laughs> So we got one right, now two wrong. Known for a surrealist artwork and the unique style of this Mexican Dolly. painter. That Candle. is wrong. Oh, what? it's that other Candle. guy. Candle, correct. Oscar. Who is the German born theoretical? Phalanges. That's correct. <laughs> this American author and human humor Mark Twain. That's correct. God damn, Oscar. Which Spanish artist and co-founder of Dolly. Disney? <laughs> and what did you say? Dizzy. That's right. <laughs> Des, you gotta get one. I would, I'm too Come hung on. up on losing. <laughs> this American actor, famous for his roles in classic Amtrak. films Brad like, Pitt. Ca like Casablanca and the Maltese Falcon. Brett support Butler. Amtrak. Amtrak, correct. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Keep going. Oscar Jack. <laughs> Which former heavyweight boxing should be also known as the greatest? Amanda Holderfield. <laughs> <laughs> It, I mean, it's wrong, yes. But it's that's wrong not, enough. But it's supposed to be right. It's supposed to be right. Oh, okay. I don't, yeah, okay. Wait, I'm just gonna going to say things and maybe I'll get it. Uh, it's the, the greatest boxer of all time. Muhammad Ali. Ali. That's correct. No, I said that too. I said his I Yeah, but you already point. answered wrong. But I get that point. <laughs> oh, boy, <yes. laughs> Come on, Des, you got to get this one. Who is the American cowboy and actor? Mercury. Known, known for Clint that's Eastwood. Correct. That's the correct. The planet Mercury. That is correct, Oscar. I'm this so former confused. German military officer and politician. Hitler. The, the Stussy X. That's right, Stussy X. What? Stussy X is the former mil German military <laughs> officer and politician who became the chancellor of Germany during World War II. Uh, and now the last question. Let's see if you can get it. Which American filmmaker best known for creating the Star Wars franchise? Burt Reynolds. George Lucas. <laughs> George Lucas is correct. Why is it, I'm not sure when I'm supposed to be wrong or when I'm supposed to be right. Well, it's, it's one, one right, two wrong. wrong. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this is... I could play this, this all the day. This is so funny. I know. <laughs> one right, two wrongs. Well, you know. This music also gave me anxiety. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's, it's very intense music. Um... Let me ask you, Des, what oh, besides no. this, um, oh, first, we have to do one other ad, I forgot. This oh. is for a pocket-sized umbrella. Oh, cute. So go ahead, here's the copy, go ahead and mm. start. Okay. It's raining. Oh my gosh, but I didn't bring my umbrella. Don't worry, I've got pockets. Okay. Don't you want to know what's in them? Sure, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's an umbrella. <laughs> Wait. I know, it's so small, it's hard to tell. How did you pull a whole umbrella out of your pocket? It's bite size. It's bite size? Yeah, bite size, like a Halloween candy. Oh. And then it. Excuse me, Sergio, you might not interrupt your conversation. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah, sorry. You with your big umbrella. <laughs> yeah, just, I'm uh, sorry. Bragging. Hey, sir, you have any pockets? Uh, I don't actually. Nah. I mean, He's not working. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> what the hell? I'm waiting for the bus. So are we. Anyway. Anyway, if you've ever wanted to keep just your nose dry, 
This umbrella's for you. Oh, wow. What's it called? Pocket umbrella. <laughs> oh, that's pretty simple. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, don't you have music you can listen I, to? No, or? I don't have pockets. I don't even have a phone on. Okay, that's we move past that. Why are you do you keep interrupting our conversation? Because you're standing right next to okay, me. Okay, but we can have a conversation without you interjecting. I'm sorry. Speaking of phones, it was actually really invented to protect your phone while you were on it, but I'm the Absolutely. one that discovered, hey, what about the nose? Right, yes. I care less about my phone getting wet and more about my nose getting wet. Yeah. <laughs> so it was smart of me to do that. Absolutely. Wait, not only do you use your product, you invented it? Yeah. Wow. Wait, are you guys filming a commercial <laughs> right now? Yes, and oh. you don't have permission to be in it. <laughs> well, you didn't tell me that. Now we have to edit around I you. I thought you guys were having a crazy, weird <laughs> conversation. I was like, why are these people tired? This guy's really excited about what looks like a cheap, horrible umbrella that barely ah. covers your head. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to try it? No. Oh. <laughs> not, a, not at all. I feel like if you tried it, you'd change your mind. Just try it. Stop what do you mean such try it? Pooper. Just hold it? Sir, your nose is drenched. That's because I have a condition, thank you very much. <laughs> Is it a condition called gets wet in the rain? Um, yes. Okay, well, perfect. Here, try it. Here, give me your umbrella. Wait, no. Wow, <laughs> thanks. Let's go. Oh, oh my God, <laughs> it stole my umbrella. <laughs> splash, 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 splash. Oh, they're playing in a puddle? <laughs> We're running away in the puddle. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> <laughs> um... All right, let me ask you, uh, either of you, is there anything uh, currently frustrating you right now? Like That uh, game we just played. I know, that, I know. like, obviously <laughs> the podcast, but besides that, is there anything like uh, that uh, maybe today or the past week that is like, oh, that was so annoying dealing with something? Hmm. I don't know. I have a pretty chill life. Yeah. I can't think of anything. The strike, I guess. Is there like, uh, for example, like past people, past things people have said is uh, an item went away at Trader Joe's that they oh. Really like, oh. or they, you know, like uh, they dealt with a parking mm. lot, mm. annoying parking lot situation, anything like that for either of you? Um, yeah, I, I, I will say, um, yeah. um, I had a friend, Des knows this because I just talked to her about it, but I, w I went to an arcade. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> He's not going to be able to bought... listen to this podcast. <laughs> I don't, whatever. <laughs> um, I can cut the... No, 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 okay. no, 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 okay. it's fine. Um, he needs to learn. <laughs> he, he needs to learn because I will not tell him directly. Yeah. Um, he, we bought the same amount of um, tokens on for our cards. Yes. And we were like, whatever. But then he was like obsessed with getting this stuffed animal uh, um, from like the little crane machines, yeah, and the then um, yeah. was like fully just on a mission to get me a stuffed animal, which I was like, "Well, this is nice," even though I didn't ask you to get yeah. me anything. And then I would use my card oh. to then use the crane machine, and I was like, "This feels wrong." And then he ran out of tokens immediately because he spent all his money on the crane machines and then would then ask me to like s spot him to play games. What and the I'm like, heck? that's not okay. Yeah. Right? That's he didn't weird. do your favor at all. He just wanted to play the claw game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Card. And I think part of like the magic of, yeah, of you got to earn it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And for me, it's like, I want to so get it on my own I, terms. I, the reason I brought this up is because I know Oscar had this experience because he wrote a song about it. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, no. So we're going to play that song you right now. Yeah. Wait, Des isn't singing it? Hey. Yes, I do want to hang out with you. That seems like a blast. But then why'd I gotta spend so much money with your ass? I thought I was gonna have a good time. I thought you were gonna be mine Spending all the cash Playing some games But instead, baby, you drive me insane The claw machine Supposed to be Nothing but dreams But then you made me scream Yeah, you made me scream You got me playing games <laughs> Got me playing games You got me playing games Now I got one life 
I'm trying to make you my wife I want to get I score <laughs> Baby, you got me wasting more Wow, that was great. Now, the crazier thing that you don't know is that Dez sang a song from the point of view of the claw machine. The claw crazy. machine? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, right, let's get you a... Is it the other, your mic on? Or no? It's on. Oh, is it? Yeah. No, his mic is not on. Um, I know how technology works. And you sang a you sang a ra uh, rock song. Yeah. Yeah. Rock song. Yeah, rock song. Or country song? No. You... Oh, country song. A country? No, I mean, it doesn't matter. Okay. Rock or country? Um, yeah. Oscar, you say country? Country. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Does that work with the yeah, verb yeah, or whatever course. it's called? Yeah, of course. Ow, 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 ow! Just doing a test, test, test. <laughs> Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> it feels so good when you play my game. I like it when you put the claw on me and try to get the doll for your baby. Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> yeah, put the quarter in the slot. Yeah, get a toy, gonna feel real hot Just wait until you see what I got for you I'm the claw game I'm the claw game There's a long line stacking up behind you Cause you've been playing me so long I'm the claw game the claw game Looks like your date is over you Cause you keep trying and you're not winning anything And that's not my fault That's entirely on you My only job is to hold things Hold things I'm the claw I'm a claw game. My only job is to hold things. Oh my like, god, uh, let's get your mics back up here. Yeah, I guess Wonderful. I was overreacting, huh? Wonderful. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, I have not done something like that in so long. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Desiree and Oscar, for being my guests on the show oh, today. Yeah. Could you each tell me where we can find you online? Oh yeah, sure. Um, I'm usually hanging out like on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. What's your hit? At <laughs> at Des Nash, D E Z N A S H. Awesome. Yeah. And, like, that's the same handle for Twitter and all the other things. Wonderful. Yeah. And, Oscar, where can we find you? You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ozzymo, O-Z-Z-Y-M-O. And also you can find me on Twitch at Ozzymo. Do you play games? I do. do O-Z-Z-Y underscore M-O. Um, I just beat Dream Daddy <laughs> for Amazing. Pride Month. Um, and then I, I'm taking a little break, but then I'm, I'm going to play some more games. I don't know what I'm playing next. So fantastic. Yeah. Follow me there. Guys. Thank you so much for being a guest. Thanks for having yeah, us. Thanks for having so us. much fun. You've been a guest on the roster. Roster. Everybody's dancing. Show. Everybody's the angry. The Rob Stern Show. The Rob Stern Show. The Rob Stern Show. The Rob Stern Show. His name is Stern, but he is nice. His name is Rob, but he doesn't steal. What is this? A web of lies. The show is a web of lies.